So today we're speedrunning through the original Bloons Tower defense and we're going to start the timer as soon as we hit start round and then right away we want to buy a dart tower and give him piercing darts. This is going to one shot us through the entirety of the first round and then right after that we can buy our second dart tower. The main strategy of this game is to just overwhelm the balloons with dart monkeys. The thing about them is they're very cheap and you can get a ton of them but especially in the early rounds the positioning of them matters a lot. If we misplace them then we might leak some balloons and then we have to wait this entire section of them going all the way across the path. It wastes like 10 to 15 seconds so we really don't want that to happen i don't really care about dying but i'm more concerned about that point point. and you might also notice we're not getting any of these dart monkeys upgrades that's just because it makes more sense to buy a ton of them than even upgrade any of them eventually they will be upgraded but for now we're just keeping them as is and you can see there's a big reason for that we're starting to get these green balloons which are really hard to beat especially right here so we just need to overpower them with our forces and like i said positioning in this game matters a lot it is so easy to leak in this game especially because you don't have too much to work with because we're mainly using dart monkeys and the upgraded ones can only at most pop two at a time you have to make sure you have a lot of them and you have to make sure they're actually doing what you want them to and don't worry we will use other towers within this speed run but for now it's just dart monkey supremacy the reason behind that is if you look at the other towers there are five different towers in total there's the dart tower the tack tower the ice tower the bomb tower and the super monkey and if you see the prices of some of these things the bomb tower alone is 900 and the ice tower is 850 so for a large part it's just not worth it to buy them also this is really sad that we just leaked that at least it's a green balloon so it takes a lot less time but yeah that wasn't very fun but now you can see we're starting to get to the point where we're actually going to upgrade our towers we want most of them to have piercing darts long range doesn't really matter too much but piercing darts is really nice so it can pop two balloons instead of one and we're getting to some fairly scary points where it's very easy to leak I don't know how I'm not doing it right now, actually. But as we upgrade more monkeys, that gets a lot less scary. I am still sad that we leaked that one, but I think we should be pretty good in the long run. So we're just going to keep upgrading our boys for now. Now, for me personally, my experience with balloons is I never actually played the first one before I decided to speed run it. My main balloons game of choice was balloons five, and I played that a lot during school. Also, we're leaking again. OK, this is kind of sad. I'm going to keep going with the speed run because other than that, it has been pretty good, but I really don't like seeing that. But as I was saying, I mainly played balloons 5 on my phone and I played a lot of it and I mean with balloons 1 the game feels a lot different I mean I guess that's kind of obvious because of how many less towers we actually have but it is the same general balloons formula which I actually love the balloons games are some of my favorite games of all time so I'm very happy to play through them and because of that I'm actually going to be speed running through each and every single one of the balloons games we're going to start with balloons 1 and make our way all the way up to balloon 6 so I'm excited to see all the different games see how the speed runs go with them and kind of see the evolution of the game series because like I said balloons 5 was my main game i did play the other ones every once in a while just with flash games during class but i don't think i really got to experience them that much and even with the limited capabilities of the first one this game's still really fun i guess you can't really beat the balloons formula we're getting to the point where we're kind of out of space over here so we're gonna start putting some monkeys in some other places for all these monkeys because we're making money so fast we want to get them and then upgrade them right away and we're just gonna place them in still kind of strategic positions it does matter where we place them but it does matter a lot less than it did in the beginning rounds because there is a lot less chance for us to actually leak some and i'm saying that now but i'm definitely gonna leak some because i said that but finally on round 23 it's time to get our first other tower so we're gonna save up our money until we get 400 so we can get the tack tower the tack tower is really nice because it does shoot in all those different directions and when you have it in a space like this it's a good tower to have and we're not gonna get only one of them we're gonna get two more as well yeah you're gonna see a little bit of diversity in your towers for now it does feel weird not being able to buy them right away i tried clicking on it because i was like oh i have 250 time for another tack tower and then realized my mistake well with these it's much like the dart monkeys where we want to get faster shooting for them faster shooting just nice in general but you can see the rounds are getting a lot harder we're starting to get a lot more yellow balloons but the good thing is we have such overwhelming forces that it doesn't matter at all even with these black balloons it just doesn't matter they just come through and we destroy them and for this game there are 50 rounds in total so don't worry it's gonna get a lot crazier now an interesting thing for this game that i didn't know when i was going into it is that there is no music in it you won't notice this just watching the video because i'm probably gonna put background music in myself but they don't have that classic balloons tune that usually plays for all their games and to be honest i don't hate it don't get me wrong the balloons music is amazing but not having music is kind of just like popping balloon asmr the popping sound effect is just so nice just listen to it
It just sounds good. <laughs> that was probably the weirdest sentence I've ever said in my life. But this point, we're kind of just good. We don't have to worry about tower placement. I do have to remember to actually click start round at the beginning of each round because sometimes I forget and they'll waste like half a second, which isn't too much. But in a game as specific as balloons, all the time does matter. Like the world record for this game is actually insane. I have no idea how he does it that fast. I think his balloon placement is just a little bit better than mine. I tried to copy it completely, but even then I still leaked some. And then obviously there's the whole thing about not wasting time and just being dumb and falling asleep on the wheel. Also, we're going to start getting long range darts for our farther away monkeys. When they're farther away and not on the first layer, it kind of does make sense because they can't reach as much. And I mean, we have so much money anyway, so might as well. But you can see we're starting to build our second layer. It started out with just these guys, but now we have all these people too. And just imagine you're one of the balloons just coming through and you see this collection of monkeys. What do you even think of that boy? I mean, as a balloon, you can't really run away. So you just kind of go for it. Hopefully maybe you'll survive, but it's already too late. And they're trying to pull out all their forces using all these black balloons, things like that. I'm even forgetting to place some towers every once in a while, but it doesn't even lose us time because we just have so many people. It doesn't really matter. And I'm probably going to place just a few more monkeys and then we're going to wait and save up for a super monkey. Like I said, the biggest value is the dark towers, especially in the early rounds. But once we get to about the 40s, that's when it makes sense to start getting some other things. And the super monkeys are very nice. You probably already know, but we'll see how nice they are in this game too. You can leave your thoughts and prayers for the ice tower and the bomb tower though, because yeah, yeah, they're not really that important in this run. The thing is the bomb tower and the ice tower, they're not even that bad they're just not worth the investment. Especially with the ice tower, you can see it's immune to tax when it's frozen, but bombs will destroy them. So if we get an ice tower, we kind of have to get a bomb tower as well. And that raises the price when you need both of them by a lot. I might place one or two just because why not eventually. But for now, we'll just watch this destruction. And oh, this is very sad. Okay, I'm actually going to place another one of these just because. Please, guys. There we go. Yep, that was not very fun. Yeah, we kind of lost a tiny bit of time there, but now we can finally go ahead, sell that guy, and get our super monkey, and now it's time for the super monkey to just destroy everybody. Yeah, the super monkey just hits way harder than everybody else, and we can kind of just cruise by with the super monkey until we can afford another one. Now all we can do is hope that our earlier rounds were good enough to make sure that we actually have a good time. There's nothing I can really do to make this too much faster, so we're just chilling out, I guess. And we can finally buy our second super monkey, which we'll put right there. And yeah, the balloons have no chance of winning at this point. You know what? Since I have so much extra money and nothing really to spend it on, I'm going to put a bomb tower out there, even just so you can actually see what it does. So yeah, it's just kind of there. The design for it is actually pretty cool. It's not as nice as the new design, obviously, but I kind of like how old and retro it looks. Is it going to do too much work for us? No, but I mean, it looks cool. We get to hear explosions. That's kind of nice. And you know, I also put the ice tower out as well, just so you can see what it looks like. And I kind of like it too. I kind of like the design of all this stuff just because it's such an early design and you can tell that, but it doesn't really make it a bad design. You know what? Let's put a bomb tower here. I want to hear more explosions. And now we have this final round. We have to go towards not much we can do at this point we're kind of just chilling hopefully we'll be able to finish this time fairly soon we're getting up to the end and i'm kind of just waiting for the time where i'm not exactly sure when this round does end okay this is kind of awkward can you please end and there we go that will be the game a 1629 the sad thing is i actually did a run before this which was a 1622 but i forgot to record my voice audio for that but i also do want to show you another category we did the glitchless category but there is a glitch category as well and for this one the speed run's pretty interesting interesting. So we're going to go right in here. Of course, the world record runs for both the categories will be in the description, but you can see he right clicks right there and then puts the guy right there. And then the tax shooter just destroys everything. Now, a really interesting thing about this is the money actually goes down instead of up. I don't really know what exactly causes this. I tried to look up what this glitch was and I couldn't find it and I wasn't able to replicate it. It might have been because I was using Flashpoint because, you know, Flash is dead, unfortunately, so we can't use Ninja Kiwi. But yeah, in this speed run, you kind of just hang out until your money goes down and I'm going to skip forward a little bit. And eventually you reach a point when you reach zero money and then your money starts going up again. Yeah, I really don't know what is going on with the speed run. And then the general strategy for the rest of the speed run is because your tax shooter is already doing so much, you can just save up for a super monkey. And this kind of just compounds until you get more and more super monkeys and more tax shooters. And yeah, the glitch speed run is pretty <laughs> interesting that is one beautiful sight to see though and that's my balloons tower defense one speed run like i said i'm going to be speed running through all of these different games throughout the next couple of weeks so if you want to see all those make sure you subscribe and i also do a lot of other speed runs on this channel for flash games and other old nostalgic games so check those out as well also if you did end up enjoying the video make sure to leave a like on it it really helps me with the youtube algorithm so i'd really appreciate it but enough shilling thank you guys for watching i'll catch you next time